What do you say it in old English? Shoring horn, French, Charsi Paid. I'm really good at French, you can tell. Or German, Schulaufel. It all means shoehorn. I remember as a child actually going to a full service shoe store where a metal shoehorn was used to help remove your old shoe and try on a new shoe. It's a simple tool. Made out of the right materials, it makes a life a bit easier and can remove a small annoyance. And believe it or not, Harbor Freight has one that is almost tall enough to use as a broadcast tower. Is it any good? Hi, I'm Scott Baim. They call me the old farmer. When putting on a new pair of shoes or some heavy-duty boots, a well-made shoehorn can make it a whole lot easier. I like using a shoehorn in these instances. Lately, I've given up on shoehorns because all I could find are the plastic models that aren't even worth looking at. In fact, stores should pay us to take one so that we can throw it away. It's frustrating that it's impossible to find a metal shoehorn that will hold up for years and not break when you really need it to help with a shoe placement. Lo and behold, Harbor Freight has one that is 11 and 7 eighths inches long. It's good enough to call it a foot long. The steel is thicker than a Farmall H tractor fender and will do the job for at least two or three hundred years if taken care of. It's made out of stainless steel and reminds me of the old shoehorns used by the full-service shoe stores. I think the shoehorn is the biggest secret Harbor Freight has, and they put the darn thing in the clearance instead of labeling as an icon tool and pricing at $19.95. Currently, it's about $8. Best of all, it does not come with a manual, so I can't knock the manual. I will say this is the best manual that Harbor Freight has ever placed with a product. This shoehorn should be used for promotions, highlighted at every cash register, and given its own billboard in the store. So if you want one, you better hustle to the closest store and buy a bucket full of these for Christmas, birthdays, and wedding gifts. The stainless steel is polished and there are no sharp edges, just as a shoehorn should be. They are the same quality that the shoe salesmen and women used to slip shoes on and off customers for years. This shoe horn is long enough to help with most boots, yet small enough to open a skin flint's wallet when it comes time to spend some money. Shoe horns have been around from the Middle Ages. That is somewhere around the 1500s or so, and they have been made from just about anything. Animal bones, shells, silver, and even glass. I would say the version offered by Harbor Freight would be considered a heavy-duty model. It takes no batteries, and the only energy it uses is your hand. A well-made shoehorn will instantly let you know if you're not using it properly, and does so without any buzzers or alarms. Some shoehorns are engraved or have decorative designs. There have been very few changes in the design since the Middle Ages. Shoehorns are designed to conveniently hang the tool out of the way, yet close enough to be handy, and in a pinch they could be used as tongue depressors or as a makeshift funnel for small containers. A shoehorn could be used as an emergency paddle if you lose your boat oar or paddle. Also, don't forget there's one place on your back that you can't reach to itch. Well, you can with a shoehorn. I am surprised that Harbor Freight hasn't offered a gold-plated version similar to the gold-plated ratchet wrench. I would be curious to know just how many of the regular shoppers at Harbor Freight even know about the Harbor Freight shoehorn. I bought one and suggest that you get one for yourself and for that skin flint you may know. Well, <laughs> this is the old farmer Scott Bame. Be well. Be safe. Don't forget to 
click like and click subscribe on the Old Farmer YouTube channel. And thanks again for watching. Bye. The VFW National Home for Children, providing families of veterans and active duty military opportunities for growth and development in a nurturing community. Please consider a donation to help their children and families. Icy Road speaking.